गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट जीनोमिक्स एंड प्रोटियोमिक्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो जीनोमिक्स इज द स्टडी ऑफ अ कंप्लीट सेट ऑफ जीन्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म सो इट कंसीडर्स ऑल द जीन्स ऑफ एन ऑर्गेनिज्म it includes all the genes present in an organism their interrelation and their role in an organism it involves dna sequencing gene mapping gene editing genetic evolution gene expression and function it takes the help of sequencing techniques and bioinformatics to analyze the whole genome Genomics also includes the study of interactions between genes such as epistasis and pleiotrophy. Let's talk about some applications of genomics. Genomics is useful in diagnosing and treating diseases. So using genomics we can compare the genome of a healthy and a diseased individual. Genomics is used in research, medicine, biotechnology, bioengineering, evolutionary studies, etc. Let's talk about proteomics now. So proteomics is the study of the total set of proteins that are expressed in an organism from its genome which is called proteome. In brief, proteomics is the study of proteome. proteome varies with requirement time internal and external environment stress etc that a cell faces since different cells express different proteins right and it depends on these factors proteomics helps to understand the characteristics and functions of a cell it helps to understand the biological system since proteins control the function of a cell ultimately proteomics involves protein purification identification structural analysis interaction and function technologies such as immunoassay mass spectrometry are used in these let's talk about some applications of proteomics The main aim of proteomics in medical field is to identify proteins involved in pathological process and to understand how illness can lead to altered protein expression. Common applications of proteomics in the drug industry include target identification and investigations of mechanisms of drug action and its toxicity. That means what are the drug targets and how a drug acts in a cell and whether it shows any toxicity Let's talk about different types of proteomics So basically there are three types of proteomics structural proteomics functional proteomics and expression proteomics Structural proteomics It involves the study of 3D structure of proteins functional proteomics which involves the study of functions of proteins expression proteomics it involves the study of the qualitative and quantitative expression of proteins in different environments such as in diseased and normal individuals we will talk about some differences between genomics and proteomics and these differences are based on the above discussion So genomics is the study of the entire set of genes of an organism. Proteomics is the study of the proteins that are expressed. Genomics is the study of genome structure. Proteomics is the study of protein structure and expression. Study of genomics does not tell about the functionality of a particular gene. Study of proteomics tells about the functional products of a gene. Every cell contains the same set of genes 
genome is fixed in an organism. Proteome varies in different types of cell according to function, internal and external factors. Technologies used are DNA sequencing and bioinformatics in genomics. In proteomics, technologists use are immunoassay, mass spectrometry, etc. Genomic studies are independent. Proteomics takes the help of genomic studies as proteins are the functional product of the genome. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. If you want to get the PDF notes of this topic, please find the first pinned comment or the description box. Thank you.